Hey Wompers, today we want to go over how you can use Womp to create your own easy 3D posters. One of the biggest trends in graphic design lately is to bring in 3D elements on top of your designs, such as chrome type, animated 3D and more. With Womp, you can easily create 3D from your browser to export out into your very own posters. So first, we need to create our design. I'm using Illustrator here, but feel free to use whatever program you like to use to lay down type or design with. For our example poster, we are creating a promo poster for Womp with big text and room in the center to place in our bold 3D. Once you've got your type down, let's design out what I would like to make in 3D. I want to make the 3D pop out in real 3D using Womp. So I'll be drawing out what I want to create to reference within WOMP. Once that's finished, export your image as a PNG or JPEG to bring into WOMP. Let's move over to WOMP.com now and create a new project. On the bottom left corner, you will see a button labeled Upload Image. Here we will upload our reference image that we just exported we then move it around and lower the opacity so that it's ready for tracing. Next, let's bring in a curve primitive to create our shape. We can grab it from the top bar menu. First, we want to jump into the curve settings to increase density and lower group strength. Now we simply start tracing our reference by duplicating and dragging out these points. We can hold down Alt, then we can simply drag out the shape to create a new curve point, as well as equally scale it from the corner points. On a Mac, that would be Shift. When we are happy with our 3D text and gave it some basic color gradients, let's grace it with super materials. For that, we want to bring a new primitive inside of the same union and turn it into a stain object. Now the material of this object will be stained onto our 3D text. I'm then browsing through the materials menu where we have over 200 presets for you. Here I'm going with the grain super material and make a few changes to it, like adding a metallic rainbow effect and playing with its texture scale. You can also introduce new colors and materials by bringing in another stain object and applying a new material onto it. Increasing goop lets you blend or separate out the materials on the stain. I like how that's looking, but I want to bring in some other shapes as well. Let's use Goop to create some fun merging shapes in the back and some primitive shapes. Once you're feeling good about your design, now it's time to export. You can do that by clicking on export on the top right, then go on download image and unchecking the background to render out a transparent image. You might want to render out the different elements separately for easy layering or scaling. Once the image is ready, let's open it back up on the same Illustrator file. You can use any type of build for as many posters as possible, not just limited to the type related projects. Thanks for watching this video and we are excited to see what posters you will be creating.